All right, in this part of the project, we're going to start building our awnings. So those are gonna be like little window coverings that go over each window. And they're gonna stick out from the side. So to get started, first we need to get rid of some of these guidelines that we use to create our windows. So a couple ways to delete things. One is to try to select the item and it turns kind of a bluish color. Then you can use the backspace to delete. If that's a little too difficult to select, you can use um, a selection window. So to make a selection window, if you click and then drag away to the lower left, so going from upper right corner to lower left, anything that intersects that window is going to be selected. So that's an, another way to select something that may be a little bit small. And then the third thing you can do is to use the eraser tool. So the eraser tool works if you can click on the item directly or if you click and hold and slide over an object, it will delete it. So if, if it's something that's easily uh, like selected, then you can click on it. If not, then you can drag just like you would an eraser on a piece of paper. You can click and hold and drag back and forth to erase content. All right, now that we've erased all the previous guidelines, we're going to start making some new guidelines. And the first one will be from the left edge. We're going to just click to select anywhere along the edge. And again, if you do not see a dotted line, a guideline that is perpendicular to the direction that you're going, like this, then you need to click control key one time. So this would be uh, just making a measurement on a surface. I don't want that. I'm creating guidelines. So I'm going to click control one more time to make sure that I have this here. And this is going to be one foot from the edge. So one apostrophe enter. So that's our first guideline, and then we're going to go over to the other side. Same thing, one foot from that side. And then the last guideline, I need to make sure that I am clicking in this specific area down here. So I want to make sure that it's on the wall surface, which would be in between the door and the trim. I'm not referencing the trim. I want to make sure that I'm on this surface here. So I'm going to click that edge. and drag up and then I'm going to type in seven apostrophe so seven feet up which should be right at the top of your window there okay next we're going to create a rectangle so I'm going to switch to the rectangle tool and if your guidelines were placed correctly there should be an intersection where the two guidelines meet I'm going to use that to create my rectangle from that specific spot. So I'm going to click there and then drag diagonally up and to the right. And we're going to type the measurement 10 apostrophe, so 10 feet, and then comma 2 apostrophe for 2 feet. So a 10 by 2 rectangle. Okay, now we're going to from this point on we're going to be working with a component so a component is like a project within a project so we're going to go ahead and create one and you'll see later on how components work so to create this component I need to select the face of the rectangle and all four edges so it's a little bit difficult to select those items but if I were to, I would have to hold down shift and add more items to my selection. So I can select multiple edges. Now see, I just selected the wrong surface. So I can click that to deselect it. So this is a little bit difficult to select. So I'm going to give you a shortcut. To select a region and its bordering lines, all you need to do is double click that region. So I click twice quickly inside the rectangle and the surface is selected and also all the connecting lines. 
So now with this selected, I'm going to right click or with a with your keypad, I mean your touchpad, you're going to two finger tap on a Chromebook to get the menu that allows you to make a component. So again, let me just show you that step one more time. Double click quickly on the rectangle and then two finger tap or right click and then choose make component. I'm going to give this component a name. The name is not really important to the model but I like to give it a relevant name so awning is what we're creating A-W-N-I-N-G and then click OK. Now it looks like nothing has happened but I'm going to go ahead and click on my newly created component not letting me, let me see. Hmm. Yeah, it's there, it's selected. Okay, so it worked successfully. Again, it looks like nothing happened. But this rectangle is now a component. And the first thing we're going to do is copy this component over to the right. So instead of making a new rectangle, I'm going to now copy my rectangle from this spot over here to this spot. So to do that I'm going to be using the move tool and within the move tool is the option to copy. So you can see that down here at the bottom control equals um, copy, stamp, and move and it will cycle through those options. So I'm going to click control one time and see what looks there's a plus symbol that has been added to the icon for the move tool which means I can now copy an object. If I click it one more time it's a stamp move. So it'll stay in copy mode and it'll just keep stamping objects. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to where it just has the plus symbol. Now I'm in the uh, copy and move. So I'm going to click on the specific spot here. So this corner would allow me if I click here to grab this item so I'm going to click there to, to grab it and then I want to place it here where it intersects so if I were to grab it somewhere else let me just show you if I were to just grab this in some random spot I can't I don't have a reference point I'd be guessing on where to place it and I don't want to do that I want to be very specific in my placement so I'm going to click here at the bottom right hand corner because I have an intersection over here where it's supposed to match. So I'm going to go ahead and click here in the corner and then hover over where it says intersection and then click to place it. So now I have two awnings in my project. So ne what happens next is we're going to edit our component. In order to edit a component you need to double click to get inside the component. Like I said before it's a project within a project. So I want to edit the component project. I'm going to double click and everything else is this weird green color now. That means I'm focused in on just this component. This is the project that I'm going to be editing. So I'm going to go ahead now and grab the push-pull tool. I'm going to click the region inside the component and see what happens. See now that I'm adjusting one component, because I copied the component over, it's actually adjusting both of them. So now I'm going to push-pull this out three feet. Enter. And now I want to deselect my component. So I'm going to go ahead and click the selection tool and click anywhere outside of my component so that I can view my project. And at this point, we are done until the next video.